Well, hello, fellow 2011 Kia Sorento owners. Uh, a lot of you guys have probably already experienced the infamous door won't open from the outside. Uh, we, uh, my wife and I actually, uh, the problem hit us on the driver's side, which of course is the worst one that can go. Uh, folks have been posting different, uh, different doors on the forum groups, uh, passenger side, but essentially uh, I would assume the, the front passenger and driver's door is pretty much the same exact mechanism. So what I did was I've got a new one, a new part on order, found it for about 55 bucks on, uh, on the net, on the uh, internet. I uh, actually bought it on eBay. So what I did is see here, this was the outer case to the unit. I removed, I actually drilled out the two rivets that you see right there in the middle of the screen. And then uh, a bunch of locking tabs all the way around. Was able to take that off, then uh, of course removed the cable uh, that goes to the inside uh, lock. So here's the guts and here's the culprit. Uh, you've got a mechanism here that has a spring. And this is what the spring looks like. Let me get you back in the camera. This is what the spring looks like if it was not broken. That would be the shape of it. And the way that sets up is the inner diameter goes around this post here. The one leg goes to a little tab that secures it there. And then the other leg goes up underneath this hook here. And I've got them marked in red to kind of highlight them. So what, what happens here basically is the spring keeps this in the up position. That allows when you rotate the mechanism, it allows the entire mechanism to open the door. But what you'll see is when the spring breaks, gravity allows this detail here to basically drop out. And it's kind of difficult to see, but in that little open square that you've got right there, you can see that arm that comes through. So this would be the locked position, and obviously the door will not work. But when I, the spring was obviously in place and was working correctly, that would be in the up position. And then that allows that entire assembly then to rotate. So what happens is, and here it is, that spring fractures. That spring probably cost when you're making a hundred thousand units a year, it's probably one cent. So that has caused all the problems that everybody's having with at least the 2011 Sorrentos. I think it might even go past that with the issues. I don't think the design has changed. That's what's causing the inoperability uh, for you to open the door through the outside door handle. So unfortunately, I've got to order and already ordered uh, $55 worth of replacement assembly, which is unfortunate that that entire assembly, which is relatively complex, you see you've got the lock motor here, lock uh, tooth geared here. Um, it's a pretty neat assembly, a lot of moving parts. It's amazing that it's actually only $55, but um, there's your problem, folks. I'm going to try and see if I can order a replacement spring uh, through a company that I use sometimes that uh, has torsion springs. And I'm going to see if I can effect a repair on it. And if I can, I'll post another YouTube video showing how, the, uh, how to do the repair using a spring that, uh, of course, I'll supply the part number and, and how I'm going to put this back together again. So anyway, stay tuned. Uh, that's the deal. Unfortunately, the supplier that supplied Hyundai and Kia with that spring probably uh, didn't look at the service life. And obviously, after a couple of years, it just fails. And, and that's what you wind up with. So stay tuned. Good luck. Bye.